Now we will move to the second speaker today, and it's uh, Mr. John Magdi. Uh, Mr. John Magdi is uh, a lead consultant with Link Development, and he will talk to us today uh, about uh, the pitfalls that you fall into uh, when it comes to your field and facilities management, and uh, how you. Um, and he will give some examples on, on where there are some uh, issues that makes you look, uh, like, uh, lose some, uh, some of your revenues and, and profits, and how can you stop this and gain control of your, uh, of your field services. So with that, I welcome John to the stage. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is John. I'm a lead consultant at Link Development. Uh, as Tarek mentioned, today we will specifically talk about uh, a solution by Microsoft, Dynamic CRM for Field Services Automation. Uh, and we will show you through a guided uh, screenshot how the solution uh, actually uh, solves specific challenges in the field services uh, industry. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to share with you specific uh, statistics that we will build on moving forward through our uh, presentation. So when receiving a service request from, from a customer to do an installation visit or to do uh, a maintenance visit, so mostly 57 of these service calls will require spare parts. So in case the field agents or technicians are not equipped with the required spare parts, most probably they will need to do another visit for this uh, customer. Uh, and most customers are actually complaining about the first call resolution or first visit uh, fix. There might be different reasons for why uh, our first uh, resolution is not uh, to the levels we want. It might be uh, not enough skills for the field agents or technicians. It might be that technicians arrive to the customer premises without having the uh, proper tools or proper equipment to actually execute uh, the job. 71% uh, of the field services organizations consider the uh, customer satisfaction parameter or customer satisfaction metric as the main uh, thing that they measure their performance in the uh, field services uh, industry. 75% of the organization, they are considering being able to do a real-time decisions on the information they receive as a critical part. So uh, let's say, for instance, uh, there is an emergency case at one of the customer sites, and we need to dynamically and on spot to assign a specific field agent or technician. So the system or the solution in place must support business users, must support dispatchers to take this decision. Uh, working with technicians and field agents, it might happen that uh, some of the field agents will not show up for an emergency case, for instance. So in a less than one minute, you need to take these service jobs or these work orders that has been assigned to this specific field agent or technician and assign it to another technician who can actually execute this, uh, this job. So speaking about challenges. These are few challenges uh, that field services organizations currently uh, face, just to list a uh, few. Uh, first of all, lack of visibility on all aspects, on all fronts. So uh, they don't know the uh, service jobs allocation to their uh, field uh, agents. They, know, they don't know the capacity of, of their workforce uh, technicians. And having this challenge lead to another problem, to another uh, industry challenge, which is uh, the misalignment with the customer expectations. So the customer is always promised a date window. We are coming on this date in morning shift or evening shift. And actually having no visibility on the capacity, having no visibility on your workforce allocation, this usually is not met. So what you have promised your customer is actually is not uh, met. Huge amount of manual efforts in terms of sending emails and having a phone calls with technician, which of course 
delay the things and prevent the first call uh, resolution. Service delivery optimization. So it's not about uh, assigning the proper uh, resource or it's not only about assigning the proper technician to the job. No, but this technician needs to be on the right place at the right time with the proper equipment. So this is what we call the service uh, optimization to make sure that we are achieving high levels of first call uh, resolution. Uh, Real-time visibility. So once the service job is assigned to the technician, he goes on field. What are the updates? Did he arrive to the customer premises? Did he start actually doing the service or executing the work order? Did he finish? Did he use the spare parts he equipped with? So having no real-time updates from field, uh, from field industry actually makes uh, the job much more difficult. Customers are calling, they are asking for updates, and no one has real-time visibility or reporting on what's actually happening uh, on the uh, ground. Uh, lack of cost, profit. Uh, this is most probably when you are outsourcing your field services and you are doing maintenance contract and collecting money from customers up front. So most probably you will don't know uh, if you are actually making money, if you are actually these maintenance contracts are actually profitable or not profitable. So these are just to list a few challenges in the field services uh, industries. Common scenarios from our different engagement with, with different uh, customers, which is the first call resolution. It might happen three to four times per each service request or per each task. And as I said, it might happen for different uh, reasons. So the first visit, the technician went without the required tools. So he need to get back and get the right or proper tools, for, for instance. Uh, the second visit, uh, he goes with a field car and discover that the issue needs to take actually this uh, device or take this customer equipment to, to have it fixed in a service center. So it has to bring a truck, for instance, or a field services, uh, field services team. So as you can see here that each visit, you are rolling specific vehicle and you are rolling two uh, resources. It might be a labor who carries actually the equipment or it might be an installer who actually installed the customer uh, equipment. And in the three visits, the service is not restored. The service is not completed. And of course, you have unsatisfied customers because they're not actually solving and you're not getting the service job done. In the fourth visit, where you have the right resources with the right skills, with the right equipment, you finally manage to close that service request. But I can assure you that the customer is still dissatisfied because you have closed the issue from the fourth time. On the other side, each time you roll out a vehicle with a specific resources without getting the job done, you're actually losing money. The second scenario, which is the lack of visibility, uh, we don't know actually the capacity of our workforce uh, field technicians. So the customer inquires and asks about when the installation visit will be executed, when the maintenance visit will be executed. Call center agents, they have no visibility, so they give a general response within two days, within three days, on that specific date, but the morning shift, for instance, from 9 to 2 p.m. So this leaves the customer with so many questions in mind. Are they coming in the morning or afternoon? Do I have to stay at home? Will they call or send an SMS before they arrive? So actually this leaves a dissatisfied customer. So what are the field services essentials in any field services solution? What needs to be there? So workforce management, schedule and dispatch for your field technicians, asset inventory and complete purchasing cycle for products and spare parts, invoicing and service contracts and SLAs 
management and remote worker or mobility. It's how you enable your mobile technicians or mobile services to work completely uh, while on field. They do not have to come back to the office to, uh, to provide their feedback or to close a service job and so on and so forth. So what Dynamics CRM for field services provide? Advanced dispatch and scheduling engine. It's a multi-dimensional. Uh, Workload balance and actually assigning the tasks based on different resources and different teams, skills and uh, capabilities, their certificates, uh, their language spoken, their communication skills. So you have all these skills defined and actually you assign or route the service job uh, as per their skills. Optimize route and real-time directions. At the end of the day, you don't want to... Uh, to have your technicians or field service agents spending their time on streets rather than getting the service uh, done. So that's why route optimization and getting real-time directions from their mobile device is a very important feature. Uh, the solution is equipped with a complete asset and warranty uh, management, inventory management, in terms of defining your inventory, whether physical inventories or mobile inventories, like the trucks, uh, with drivers uh, that they are uh, equipped with specific uh, spare parts or uh, products. You can do inventory adjustments. You can do a return material authorization. So different processes are completely managed A to Z on Dynamics RAM for field services. Invoicing, a complete service agreements like you do in the preventive maintenance. You do a contract to do specific service jobs for a specific products, so all these service agreements are managed on top of this solution. Uh, managing and monitoring the SLA between the field service organization and the customer to make sure you are getting these services done on the promised uh, date. What about technicians? What about field agents? They can execute their job completely using their mobile devices or tablet devices. The application is available on all platforms, iOS, Android, and Windows. And the good thing that even uh, there is no connection, the service agents or the field agents can still execute the service jobs if there is no connection. And once the connection is restored, all the updates are synced with the uh, solution. Next, we have seen the challenges. We have seen the common uh, scenarios or common problems in field services industries. Coming next is, uh, it's like a guided scenario with the screenshots, actual screenshots from the solution, and we are touching base each of these challenges and, uh, and problems. So the scenario starts with call comes in, customer 360 view. So once the call uh, is received to the call center, for, for instance, and through the integration with call center, you have what's called customer 360 view pop up to the call center agent. So what are the customer details? Name, address, contact information. What are the recent cases related to this customer? What are the recent purchases? So in case that the customer is purchasing goods and products from our organization, I can view a complete history of his purchases. What are the invoices that has been, uh, that has been paid? If there is multiple addresses related to this customer, you can see it in the 360 view. So most probably, 70-80% the call center agent knows what the customer is calling about. So if he did a recent purchase, so he might be calling for doing or asking about the installation service. When are you coming or when are you arriving? Uh, if he has a recent case complaining about the product is not being working or a faulty item, so it might be requesting a maintenance or on-site repair request. So having this 360 view gives the call center agent a complete visibility of what might the customer is calling about. Simply, the call center agents ask the customer and create a case or incident on the solution. So the customer is calling to report uh, a faulty item, for instance, enter all the details, the verification has been done that this product might be inside warranty or outside uh, warranty, is it eligible for on-site repair or not eligible for on-site repair, and accordingly it converts to work order. 
or a service job. At this stage, the call center agent job is done. Receiving the customer call, recorded or saved it on the solution, and create a work order or service job that needs to be dispatched and executed by another department. So this is the dispatcher screen, and this is one way of how the dispatchers can actually uh, uh, schedule a service job or a work order. You can see here that you can search by different parameters. Number one, the start day and end day. These are the promise dates to the customer. So you need to tell the schedule engine what are the promise dates to make sure we are providing our service without, within the promise date windows. Skills. You can search with skills. So if your customer is English speaker, he does not uh, speak Arabic, he does not understand Arabic, so you want to make sure you are assigning and scheduling a language, an, an English speaking technician for this specific job. Territories. So if your field services organization work in different regions, in different territories, you can actually, if you don't have resources available in this specific region that associated with this customer, you can search for resources from another industries. It all depends on your uh, business needs and your business rules. So once you provide your input search parameters and click on search, the system automatically displays who are the technicians that have capacity and can do this specific service job and also displays the time they can start, the time will finish and the distance they will drive and the estimated driving time, how, how much time they will take to reach the customer based on their current location, based on their current location. Once you specify the agent or the field technician that will execute the job, you just schedule it. And once you are done, according to our workflow, there might be an automated email or automated SMS that will be sent to the customer telling that this fixed date and this time is what uh, is at the exact date and time on which we will do the service job or the work or. This is another sample screen for doing the uh, service job or work order scheduling. As you can see here that you can actually schedule the service job by drag and drop. So you take the service job from this screen and you can do reschedule to a different date, to a different time. You can select multiple uh, service jobs and assign it to a different technicians. You have all the technicians here listed on the left and these are the service jobs. This color coding has a meaning. If you remember the challenges that lack of real-time visibility. No one knows if the service job has started. No one knows if the service job has been completed. So once the technicians on field update the status of these work orders, so this is automatically reflects here. So Blue ones means in progress. Green ones means done, for, for example. Uh, red ones means cancelled. Uh, yellow ones means rescheduled. So these are different statuses for different service uh, jobs. Here you can see the service jobs location on a map. So these ones are actually assigned to specific to one resource. That's why they are near to each other. You don't want your uh, field technician or uh, field agents to do one service job here, then another one here. This is a waste of time and waste of money. So you are making sure that the, the, all the service requests assigned to specific technician belongs to the same territory or belongs to the same uh, region. Route planning and route optimization. So we have tens of, of vehicles. Each vehicle has an assigned driver, label, and installer. Each vehicle needs to do, uh, to do 15 to 25 visits per day. So if you are not doing route optimization for these uh, vehicles, so you might have your uh, technicians or your vehicles spending their time on the streets. So this is a sample route planning. We have three different uh, vehicles, and each vehicle has its route plan uh, identified on a map. And using live traffic uh, map, 
this route can be updated on a real-time basis. For instance, according to traffic conditions, this route might be changing. The driver receives a notification that he needs to take a different route in order to arrive to the customers at the promised date and time. <coughs> Tracking. Uh, according to CSGI International, that uh, most customers are being sick and tired for being promised a date window from 9 to 2 or from 2 to 6 p.m. So they are tired of waiting throughout four hours without even know at what exact time the, uh, the dictation or the field agent will actually uh, arrive. So by tracking, here you can see the customer location and the warehouse. Let's say, for instance, the warehouse is the starting location of the uh, vehicle. The customer can see the truck number. He can see the technician name and technician mobile number in case he wanted to have a phone call with the driver or with the technician itself. He can see the remaining time, estimated duration until the arrival of the technician, remaining distance and the truck status. So now truck status has left the warehouse. So what happens with live tracking? The trucks move on its route and we have the time updating till the vehicle arrives to the buffer area. So it's approaching the customer. In that case, the remaining time is 48 uh, minutes, remaining distance 0.18 miles, and the truck status is near home. So the customer has been notified, and there is an automatic notification that has been sent to the customer that the truck is near your home. Please be there for executing the service job. So 86% of the customers are willing to pay more from a premium service, for a premium service, they are willing to pay more for a convenient scheduling engine that tells them exactly at what date and time the technicians will uh, arrive. So the technician has arrived at the customer premises. It's time to start executing the service job through their mobile device. So now, as a field agent or a technician, I can open my mobile, view my scheduled work orders as a list. These are my scheduled work orders. Or I can simply view it on a calendar view. So I reach the customer. I open this service request. And I can update the status here. So if I am on my way to the customer, I can change the status to traveling. Once I arrive to the customer, I can change the status to arrived. And all these updates are automatically synchronized with the solution. So the call center agents, the dispatcher, the supervisors know the status of each uh, service job or uh, work order. The technician or the driver can get real-time directions on how to drive and how to reach to this customer using the built-in mobile uh, features and capabilities. Here, different views to view the work order details. So, for instance, this is the work order uh, details, the estimated duration for this work order, the work order uh, description. These are the tasks. So, these are the tasks that need to be executed by this service agent once he or once she arrives to the customer premises. It's like uh, a guided steps of what needs to be uh, executed. Uh, in case there are spare parts that need to be charged from the customer, he can also check on real time the inventory and see if this is spare parts are available or not available in his uh, truck. He can take photos and upload it to the service job. So let's say before and after, before the installation, after the installation, before fixing uh, the issue and after fixing uh, the issue. And finally, he can collect the customer signature from his mobile or smart tablet device. Payments. Technicians, they can process payments through their uh, mobiles, cash or credit cards. And this actually creates an invoice on the uh, web uh, application that automatically being pushed to ERP. So the system is flexible to integrate with any uh, existing ERP 
solution for financial and uh, invoicing uh, part. Once the service job is done, the uh, technician or field agent can simply change the status to uh, completed. <coughs> to close the loop, as mentioned, that one of the important or most parameters that field services organization manage or measure their performance is the customer satisfaction. Uh, voice of the customer surveys, this is an add-on on Dynamics CRM that enables uh, business users to create their own surveys by drag and drop. As you can see here, there is the question uh, formats, types, you can do ratings, you can do smiley faces, you can do short answer, long answers by simply drag and drop. You can have your survey in multiple pages and you can actually do a preview. So this is how the survey will look like once it is received at the customer side. Uh, the good thing is these surveys are responsive, which, uh, which make it that the customer can answer this survey even on their laptops or even on their mobile uh, devices. One more thing is these surveys can be accompanied or associated with your business process. So you are not sending a surveys in bulk, for instance. No. After each service job execution, after a work order that has been delivered to the customer, executed and closed, you automatically send a survey to the customer. Asking about different things. Did we meet our SLA? How do you rate the technician uh, knowledge about the product? Uh, how do you rate the technician uh, communication skills and, and technical skills? So different questions to measure your performance in the field services. And this is another sample of uh, surveys. It's completely uh, configurable. And all of this has no meaning without proper reporting. So again, Dynamic CRM is equipped with real-time dashboards that give you real insights about different uh, services area, uh, how many jobs executed, how many jobs rescheduled, how many jobs uh, are cancelled, uh, customer satisfaction rates, are we doing great, uh, is, are our uh, satisfac customer satisfaction rates is, is doing uh, well, 95 and above, uh, is our first rate or first fix rate uh, is doing well, is it getting better by time, yes or, uh, or no, so all these different uh, real-time insights, you can get it uh, directly from the, uh, from the solution. Social media listening and social engagement. Again, this is uh, completely integrated with the solution. You can uh, listen to specific words, do sentiment analysis, listen to customer voice, know what customer is thinking about your organization and about your uh, services, who are your top fans, and who are your top criticized. So whatever happens on social media, according to specific search keywords, it's automatically pushing this information to you. And you actually can configure a workflow that if a specific words are mentioned, you can automatically create a case on dynamic CRM to be taken further. So someone is complaining about the service. This automatically creates a case on CRM. You automatically reply to the customer comment or to the customer uh, feedback on social uh, media. Who can benefit from the solution? So simply any organization that have a workforce that they need to manage, uh, any organization who needs to send their uh, resources on field, on ground to uh, execute a job will need a field services automation solution. As examples, facility management, uh, Home health, traveling nurses, where you need to allocate uh, doctors and nurses for uh, home uh, health care uh, activities. Utilities like oil and gas when doing site coordination and we need to make sure that our engineers are following <coughs> the health safety environment <coughs> rules and processes. Pest control, uh, property management, inspection management even in the government sector, part of the process might be executing an inspection on site and accordingly applying some sort of penalties on some sort of violations. So 
the solution could fit here with a specific checklist for inspectors who can go on ground and do these uh, inspections. Uh, one of the references I wanted to share with you, which is NAVCO. NAVCO is one of the largest uh, system, uh, security systems integrator in the U.S. Uh, they do have more than 60 uh, service centers in the U.S. Uh, more than 200 field technicians are using uh, the solution. This is beside the back office staff who do the scheduling, who do the planning, who do the uh, dispatching. Business owners are blind to what's happening in their store or in their business without electronic security solutions. And with NAVCO and the services that we provide, they're able to make sure that their assets are secure, their people are protected, and that they're delivering the best service that they can to their customers. So through organic growth, NAVCO saw a need for a new software platform. Um, our previous platform didn't offer us the configurability that we fit with Field 1 and Microsoft Dynamics CRM. We're able to provide our customers with faster service by using the routing engine to schedule the closest technician to the service calls, and that makes the customer happier because they're getting service quicker than they were in the past. And it really helps us to meet our service level agreements for our customers. NAVCO has a 95% first time fix that we're very proud of as an organization. And through the use of Field One Sky, we are now able to actually show our clients and prove to them that we're hitting that 95% first time fix, which saves them money. NAVCO's portal hosted on Microsoft's Azure pulls data from Field One Sky to give us the charts and graphs that we need on a monthly basis to do customer reviews. The main benefit of having the customer portal is the customer can see all their calls in real time. They can see what's open and what's closed. They can place the service call right from the portal and see if a call is already open at a site or if they need to open a new call. Field One Sky gives our customers the visibility to really see how we're performing and it gives them the confidence to continue their relationship with NAVCO. So the configurability of Field One Sky and Microsoft Dynamics CRM has really given us the capability to drive all the way down to the field level and give that greater visibility to everything we do. So actually this uh, video has uh, mentioned different things, service level agreements, service uh, contracts, the technicians using their mobile to know more about their service requests. The good thing about NAVCO is that they are putting the 95% first call uh, fix rate on their website, so they are really confident uh, that they are meeting their promised SLA, their promised date uh, and the specific times with the customer using uh, Dynamics CRM for field services. Uh, coming few slides, I just want to give you an overview about uh, Link uh, Development. Link Development is Microsoft Gold Certified Partner in six different competences. One of them is Dynamics CRM uh, implementations or Dynamics CRM uh, solutions. Uh, Link Development recent awards was uh, the Inner Circle 2014 and 20. Uh, 15. Inner Circle is the uh, elite group uh, of the 2% of dynamic CRM implementers worldwide. Uh, and again, the, uh, uh, this is the, uh, the Inner uh, Circle, and we have taken two years uh, on a row. Uh, so these are our uh, business lines, these are our services. We do business solutions and when it comes to dynamic CRM implementations, ERP uh, like AX and uh, GP, infrastructure services, uh, enterprise solutions, portals, uh, intranets, knowledge base uh, management, mobile solutions. We have our own mobile team who develop uh, 
different types of applications, whether informative, whether government services, whether entertainment applications on all uh, mobile platforms. We do strategic outsourcing for our uh, key and strategic accounts and uh, customers. Uh, as mentioned, we are gold certified in CRM and uh, ERP. Uh, President Club, these are the uh, prestigious group of the top 5% of dynamic CRM implementers uh, worldwide. Uh, our implementations are serving 120 customers with 150k more uh, CRM uh, users. These are the regions we currently work in, Egypt, UAE, Qatar, KSA, Oman, Bahrain, and Nigeria through our uh, regional uh, offices. We are currently actually a team of 120 plus uh, of dynamic CRM resources, uh, being technical, being business consultants, being system analysts, being uh, quality control and software uh, testing technical leads. We started the implementation of dynamic CRM since uh, uh, 2005, which means we have calibers, we have resources in our team with 12 plus years of dynamic CRM uh, implementations and we have our own dedicated team for supporting our uh, solutions we deliver to our customers. Presence, so these are the regional offices. Uh, in UAE we have here two offices in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, our headquarters in Egypt, and we have regional offices in uh, Case A, Qatar, uh, Italy, and Canada. However, our uh, footprint when it comes to uh, implementations and projects we are covering pretty well uh, countries like Morocco, like uh, Malawi, like Mauritius, uh, Kuwait, Iraq, uh, Greece, Switzerland, and uh, these we have running projects in these uh, countries. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you for your, uh, for your time, and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the uh, event. I hope you will enjoy the rest of your day, and in case there are any questions, uh, I am here. Okay, so thank you, John. Uh, do we have any questions for Don? We can, I'd rather actually have the questions at the break. If you have any questions for Don, we can have it at the, at the break because we're running a bit uh, uh, behind schedule. 